everyone. Hope you are fine and I hope that you are all, all are safe at home. Okay. So, uh, so far we have completed one unit that is the first unit loss of motion. Hope that you could understand that all the videos. So, today we are going to start a new unit. Okay. Students, please uh, follow all the videos. And please understand the concept and study. Okay, whenever you are studying physics, it is the physics is nothing but the we are studying the things and the phenomena around us. Okay, what is happening around us? What is the science behind the happenings around us? Okay, so whenever you are studying such uh, things, you have to understand the concept and study. It will be very useful for you. Okay, so today we are going to start a new unit that is unit 2 optics. Okay, so uh, I hope that you have studied about this optic in your lower classes. Okay, optics is nothing but the study of light is called as optics. Okay, so you might have studied about this light. Okay, what you have studied, uh, the light is a form of energy. Okay, light, uh, like heat is a form of energy, sound is a form of energy. Likewise, the light is also, it is a form of energy. What is meant by this energy? Energy means what? How when you can say that I am an energetic person? Whenever we are having some capacity to do a particular work, okay, we will say that I am energetic, okay. So, energy means uh, it will do some work, okay. So, here this light is also, it is a form of energy, okay. So, so many uh, theories have been uh, proposed by so many scientists. First, they have proposed that light is a form of ray. Okay, that is ray madri irukko abhina. They have find out. Okay, in the madri they, they told that light is a form of ray. Okay, later the scientists found out that no, no, light is not a form of wave. It is a form of wave abhina. So, now it will be in the form of, it is having a wave nature. Okay, like electromagnetic waves that you uh, will study elaborately or you will study uh, everything in your higher classes when you go for level central. I am not going to explain everything. I am just giving the idea about that. Okay. They told that light is in the form of wave. Okay. After that they proposed that no, no, light is not only having the wave nature. It is having the particle nature. It is behaving as particle and that particles are called as photons. You might have studied about particles, right? Electrons, protons, everything. So here they are telling that it is the uh, it is uh, that is it is having all the natures of a particles. Okay, or particle ke enna na nature irukum or ellame adla iruk. So it is uh, it can be same. Uh, we can propose that as a it is having a particle nature. Okay, then then they uh, uh, they were analyzing, they were researching, and they finally find out that now the latest theory is they have said that light is having the wave nature. As well as the or particle nature, okay, based upon the situations, okay, situation, given situation, it will act as a particle or it will act as the wave. Wave can in nature ruko, adu adhukirka. Particle can in nature ruko, adu adhukirka. So, situation keta madri, chala situation la the particle nature, uh, it will, that means it will pronounce it particle nature. In some situation, it will pronounce it wave nature. Okay, this is the latest theory that is light is having wave nature and the particle nature. Okay, if you become a scientist, you can find out something uh, else uh, that is apart from this. Okay, because Munadi lande kuncha kuncha ma kandu purushipanga. Ilya Munadi kandu purushada. Ilya adapri ilya abhi maathi maathi kandu purushipanga. Okay, so you can also find out some theories or you can research over it and you can find out. Well, uh, if you, you may uh, find out some other property in the light, okay. Okay, now, so, I told you that light, we are saying that light is having a ray property. Ray, ray means what? What is this ray? Light is in the form of ray. Light comes in the form of ray. Or ray madri varo. What is meant by ray? Ray means nothing but the path travelled by the light is called as ray. Okay, suppose this is the bulb. Okay, this is the bulb. If the light is travelling in this path, this path is called as ray. Okay, this path is called as ray. The next term is light. If there are so many rays, okay, so many rays are coming from the source. So, we can say this group of rays as beam of light. Okay, ray of light means what? 
the path traveled by the light is called as ray of light what is beam of light group of these rays are called as beam of light okay so here after we will be using these two terms in this unit ray and beam understand what is ray in the path la pogudha ad ray nu solluvom indha maari nariya rays chendu poradha we will call it as beam of light okay now suppose you might have uh, uh, studied about light right so some uh, sources of light or uh, some uh, there are so many sources of light natural sources and artificial sources okay so where the light uh, uh, we, uh, we can say where the where is the uh, that is uh, beginning or end edathil irundha and the light uruvaagudho okay adha nama enna solrom source of light appdin solrom okay so any object which gives out the light is called a source of light if the bulb is giving out the light the bulb is called as the source of light if the sun is giving the light the sun is called as the source of light okay so in the edathil irundhu unak light varudho adha ipo if you are using a torch light you are getting the light from the torch light so what is the source torch light is the source of light okay so that is for any object which gives out the light is called as source of light okay the next source emit their own light they are called as luminous object okay some object will emit their own light okay for example you take sun star they will be having their own light they will be emitting their own light so such a bodies are called as luminous bodies or luminous object okay so when you consider moon whether it has its own light no it will reflect the light received from the sun so moon is not a luminous object sun is a luminous object so and adoda own adukku adukku nu irukra light ah emit pannu adukullaadi irukra light ah yaar kitta nu vaangi emit pannala sun kitta irukra light ah emit pannuchu appadina we can call that source as luminous object okay clear then so we should be very thankful to god right god had created this nature so to enjoy this nature or to admire the beautiful of this nature okay to admire the beauty of this nature we need eye right so we can say because of this eyes okay because of this eyes only we are receiving so much of knowledge we are getting we are gaining so much of knowledge only because of the eyes okay 99 percentage of the knowledge we are obtaining is through the eyes okay so whenever we are visualizing something something you can easily understand it right yeah i am talking talking over and over can you understand what i am saying if i draw a picture i am saying this is there this is right so you can easily understand so eyes is a very important part so we have to thank god for giving such a eyes to us. so many people so not uh, having eyes okay so they cannot gain as much knowledge as we are gaining okay namma kannala paathu nariya knowledge eduthukrom so kann illadavanga whenever we see them they will be having a a very sad face right why because they are not uh, having that capa- uh, that is capability okay so how we can uh, see an object we are having eyes okay can you see the object without uh, having light you are entering inside a dark room okay can you see any object inside the dark room no why because there is no light okay let it be now if you are using a torch light and you are torching the light that is you are um, uh, lighting it in your eyes okay because you are seeing with your eyes right and the torch vandu onoda kannula adichu paakkara appadina can you able to see the object definitely no why why means it uh, when, uh, when we can see an object we are seeing that is in the day time we can see all the objects around us okay when we go out we can see the nature everything but in the night we cannot see why because day time it is having sunlight it is emitting the light okay and the light emit anavadhu nama kanna padithu nama paakkalam nama eppadi or object ah paakrom appadina whenever the light is incident on an object okay the light is getting reflected from the object okay that reflected ray is entering inside our eye and after that we can able to see the object purida ipo na inda பெண்ணை பார்க்குறேன் அப்படின்னா எப்படி பார்க்குறேன் இந்த லைட் சோர்ஸ் இந்த பெண் மேலே படுது இந்த பெண்ணில் இருந்து அந்த லைட் சோர்ஸ் பட்டு ரிஃப்ளெக்ட் ஆகிற ரே என்னோட கண்ணில் படுது ஸோ அதனால தான் ஐ கேன் ஏபிள் டு சீ தன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓகே ஸோ தட் ஐம் சேம் வென் யூ ஆர் இன் டார்க் ரூம் இட் யூ வாண்ட் டு சி அன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் யூ வில் டார் யூ வில் லைக் த டார்ச் ஆன் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஒன்லி நாட் இன் யோர் ஐஸ் ஓகே யூ நோ ஒய் த ரீசன் பிஹைண்ட் தட் இஸ் வி ஆர் ரிசீவிங் த ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் லைட் ஃப்ரம் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் அதனால அந்த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் நம்ம கண்ணில் படுது 
okay so this is about the lecture so light is very very important okay so today we are going to study some of the important properties of light okay we will be studying all these important properties in your higher classes okay we will be elaborately we will be uh, discussing everything in your higher classes in your 10th standard level it is not necessary to discuss everything but you have to have an idea about the properties of light light ki enna thanma irukku abindrathu you have you should have an idea okay let me give you an idea about the properties of light so in exam point of view this is an important question properties of light it is a very very important question let me discuss the properties of light okay so the first property is i already told you that light is a form of energy okay it is you all know that it was found out by the scientist uh, einstein because of this uh, uh, when he found out this he got the nobel prize okay this is for your information so light is it is a form of energy okay so light always travels along the straight line okay eppume light enna pannum straight ah pass pannum okay but if you suppose you are uh, it is having some distractions if you are placing something over that light so what happens it will bend it will diffract diffract na இந்த மாதிரி பெண்ட் ஆகி பி போகும் இந்த வேவ்ஸ் தண்ணியில கல்ல போட்டா உனக்கு வந்து வேவ்ஸ் ஃபார்ம் ஆகும் இல்லையா அதே மாதிரி லைட்டோட பாத்துல நீ ஏதாவது அப்செட்டில் வச்சேன்னா இட் வில் ஃபார்ம் வேவ்ஸ் லைக் திஸ் ஓகே டைஃப்ராக்ஷன் வில் அக்கர் ஸோ இஃப் தேர் இஸ் எனி அப்செட் இட் மே ஹேப் பட் லைட் வில் ட்ராவல் இன் அ ஸ்ட்ரைட் லைன் கண்டிப்பா ஸ்ட்ரைட் லைனா தான் கட்டணும் இன்னும் அதை நீ சேஞ்ச் பண்ணணும்னா யூ கேன் change it by some means okay but the light always travels always travel in a straight line okay light doesn't need any medium for propagation okay adavadhu light pass panni poradhukku endha medium um theva illa suppose i am uh, speaking to you okay the sound from a vocal cord want to reach you how it uh, how it is reaching you only because of the air medium in the air valiya enoda sound wave it is traveling and it is hitting your ear okay uh, ear so that you can able to hear my sound okay so but uh, sound definitely it needs a air medium to travel but when you take light it doesn't uh, require any medium even in vacuum vacuum means what vetri da even endha or medium um illa yaro edhume illa na kuda light can travel through that medium that is a very very important property of light light doesn't need any medium to uh, for the propagation propagation means travel pandradhukku it is doesn't require any medium okay it can travel through even in vacuum the next property is the speed of the light in vacuum or air it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second you might have studied this okay it is very very important what is the speed of light it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second 10 to the power 8 means you just imagine that 10 to the power 3 means it is 1000 right then 10 to the power 8 means how much it is having so for one second it is traveling 10 to the power 8 meter per second means or a second is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter adu odu so that much speed the light is having okay so that is the speed of light in vacuum even in vacuum or in gas the speed of the light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second this term you will be using in your uh, life long you will be using this value okay so keep it in mind the next one is light is characterized by wavelength lambda and frequency a uh, mu okay this symbol is mu and this symbol is lambda okay so it is given by the relation c is equal to mu lambda c means nothing but velocity of light c is nothing but velocity of light lambda mu frequency frequency means light is having certain frequency adavadhu adu vandu wave maari pogum illaya abbi pogum bodhu it will be having one second ku indha maari ethna pogudhu puriyada indha maari ethna cycles irukudho adha da we will call it as frequency okay suppose this is the light wave okay for one second suppose this is up to one second how many free, uh, cycles are there this is one this is two this is three okay so three the frequency is three okay similarly wavelength means the distance between this and this or the distance between this and this this is called wavelength so velocity of the light can be determined by the frequency 
ஆண்டர் வேவ்லெட் ஒரு லைட் எவ்வளோ ஸ்பீடில் போகுது அப்படிங்கிறத நம்ம எப்படி கேரக்டரைஸ் பண்ணலாம் அதோட வெலாசிட்டி அதோட வேவ் லென்த்தையும் அதோட ஃப்ரீக்வன்சியும் வச்சு நம்ம டிட்டர்மின் பண்ணலாம் திஸ் வில் ஆல்சோ யூ வில் ஸ்டடி இன் யோர் ஹையர் கிளாஸஸ் ஓகே இட் இஸ் நாட் நெசசரி ஃபார் யூ டு நவ் டிஸ்கஸ் இட் ஓகே தென் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கலர்ட் லைட் ஹேவ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேவ் லென்த் அண்ட் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி you know that so many colors are that right so all the colors are characterized by its wavelength and frequency over color you know adoda wavelength and adoda frequency vachu da nama characterize pandrom edhi indha color edhi indha color appadina we are giving certain frequency and we are varying the colors okay we know that so many colors are that uh, for example you know the colors right which are violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red okay so these are the colors in each colors are having this are the colors it is visible to our eyes namma kannukku theriyira colors ivlo da so many colors are there in that uh, our eyes are visible only to namma kannukku eda eda mattum da sense panna mudiyum violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red okay so idu vandu end range la you might have studied gamma rays ultraviolet rays adala padichirpinga illaya so idu vandu ultraviolet ray ku இன்ஃப்ராரெட் ரேக்கும் இடையில இருக்கிற இந்த ரீஜியனில் இருக்கிறத மட்டும்தான் வீ கேன் ஏபிள் டு விஷுவலைஸ் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் திட் இஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கலர்ட் லைட் ஹேஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேவ் லென்த் அண்ட் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி இதில் இருக்கிற ஒரு ஒரு கலருக்கும் ஒரு ஒரு ஃப்ரீக்வன்சியும் ஒரு ஒரு வேவ் லென்த்தும் இருக்கும் ஓகே தென் வயலட் கலர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கலர் த நம்ம கண்ணுக்கு விசிபிள் ஆகிற ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கலர் இட் இஸ் வயலட் ஸோ இட் இஸ் ஹேவிங் லோயர் லேம்டா மீன்ஸ் வேவ் லென்த் ஸோ விச் இஸ் ஹேவிங் த லோயஸ்ட் வேவ் லென்த் வித் வயலட் which is having the highest wavelength red புரியதா இதுக்கு தான் கம்மியான வேவ் லென்த் இருக்கும் இதுக்கு வேவ் லென்த் அதிகமா இருக்கும் ஓகே ஆல்வேஸ் கீப் திஸ் இன் மைண்ட் தென் when light is incident on an interface it is partially reflected and partially refracted okay interface means means water yeah two mediums are there right ஸோ இன்டர்ஃபேஸ் மீன்ஸ் இதுக்கு ரெண்டுக்கு இடையில இருக்கு அதுதான் நம்ம இன்டர்ஃபேஸ்னு சொல்றோம் ஸோ வென் அ லைட் இஸ் இன்சிடென்ட் ஆன் த இன்டர்ஃபேஸ் இப்போ லைட் இஸ் இன்சிடென்ட் ஆன் த இன்டர்ஃபேஸ் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் பார்ஷியலி இட் இஸ் ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் கொஞ்சம் லைட் என்ன ஆகும்னா ரிஃப்ளெக்ட் ஆகும் அதர் இஸ் ரிஃப்ராக்டட் ஓகே அதர் வில் பி ரிஃப்ராக்டட் புரியுதா ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அனதர் ஒன் ப்ராப்பர்டி ஆஃப் லைட் ஓகே ஹோப் யூ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆல் த ப்ராப்பர்டிஸ் and this is a very important question if you have doubt you can rewind it and listen to it and you if you have not subscribed our channel please do subscribe it thank you for watching